You know, we're so blessed to be able to have this event in Pontedora. It is, at the moment, one of the best dive sites in the world. It's an amazing place to bring the family and to be able to hold an adventure, it's an absolute honor. The event takes place here in uh, southern Mozambique, just over the border of South Africa. Beautiful fishing, beautiful diving. In fact, some of the best on the east coast of South Africa and possibly even in the world. The sea is just full, full, full of fish. Um, every year it just produces time and time again the catches that we want to see. Sailfish, marlin, all kingfish species. And it's just wild. It's really, really amazing to have the adventure. This year's event, we've got even bigger than last year with uh, 120 uh, jet ski anglers, all vying for prizes in uh, excess of 250,000 rand. This event has just got bigger and bigger and bigger every year. It's into its fourth year now, we've got 120 competitors. This is a really unique event. It is a catch, photo and release event. It's the biggest event of its kind and it's the biggest jet ski fishing event in the world at the moment. So we've got the biggest lineup here for the Dracic Yamaha Jet Ski Fishing Classic this year. We are about to launch 80 guys off of Pontedoro Main Beach here. We've got an insane crew of all the local guys helping out to get these guys in the water safely and securely today. We've got our main launch site here at Pontedoro, which accommodates the majority of the jet ski fishermen. And then we have another launch site over just north of Pontedora in Ponte Molongan. Pontedora generally is known for its really easy launch. Today, some guys not so much. Had some trouble launching, a little bit of dodgy moments. But all in all, the guys got out nice and safe. You have to think a little bit like a fish. The main thing is obviously the, the fish operate early, so you've got to try and get as many species as you can early. I know the r and are great in Mozambique, but uh, you've got to be on the water early. And generally you will have at least two or three fish before seven o'clock in the morning. The marine life here is phenomenal. As the guys get onto the water, they're into the fish pretty much straight away. The tuna are going absolutely mad in 100 meters of water, straight off Pontedora Point. Guys are getting tuna between 10 to 15 kilos. Bait balls are smashing all over the place. There's a hell of a lot of action going on. Hopefully the guys can get into a couple of really good fish. You know, you don't have to go far off of uh, the main beach of Pontedora to get into prime, prime fishing area. You've got Doodles, which is literally just off the point, uh, Atlantis, which is another 2Ks out, uh, Molongan Reef, and uh, Pinnacles. And all of these reefs produce not only the bait that you want to use in the area, but also just a variation of really, really good game fish that uh, can get you right up on the leaderboard, you know, come that sort of day two, um, and get you into some really good prizes. The forecast for day one was, uh, was for a very good day, so we all knew that we were going to be in for a long one. The big thing was obviously just to get a couple of fish on early. Went straight out to Pinnacles. There's been a lot of sharks there, but uh, generally sometimes if you get there early, you have a bit of a luck and you can get one or two fish out. There's a hell of a lot of action happening on Pinnacles at the moment, but as we all know with Pinnacles comes the resident tax man. Once that reel screams and you're on Pinnacles, you've really got a limited amount of time to get that fish to the boat, or else the tax man is going to take his share.
of day it was a good fight, but I'm sure it was a shark that took it this lure. I mean, it took it with the fish and uh, it even stuffed up the lure. So, divers, stop feeding the f sharks. Everybody <laughs> cool. We want to fish. And we will release it, don't worry. Let's keep fishing. Is, is a challenge because it's it's you and only you. You need to hook the fish and land the fish all by yourself. Uh, the bigger the fish, the, the bigger the challenge. Obviously in a competition like this, you need to, to diversify your angling technique, do that little bit extra just to make sure that you get another species or two. I was on, on Atlantis, uh, it was quite for about an hour. Um, the GoPro was running and the next moment I was on with two fish. Um, one got taxed fairly soon after, after hitting the, the water. Uh, the other one I landed, it was a big kawakawa. A couple of oaks got fish. I would say the majority of us battled a bit. It was, it was a great day, honestly, if, even if we didn't catch a lot of fish. The co-sponsors of the uh, race tech event this year. Uh, we've got Corne Hutting from Mascor GM and Stephen McIntyre from Mascor Toyota. Corne, you took the Trailblazer, the new one, up to the event this year. How did that go? Very, very nice. It was a pleasure driving it in th those conditions, especially on the beach. Very nice vehicle. Yeah. Stephen, you took up the new Land Cruiser. Caused a bit of a spectacle. How was it? Oh, correct. It was a fantastic vehicle to drive on the beach. Most of the time, I actually spent in 4x2, then you'd have to put it into 4x4. So, yeah, really proved its metal. Brilliant, man. Uh, for any more information, guys, visit Masco GM and Masco Toyota.